here we are. I always started with, so here we are. That's what, his trademark. What, that's my trademark. So here we are, riding an escalator through, can you say the airport name? Sukarnambumi. Sukarnambumi airport. We've got about another two hours to go before our flight. Both of us are already feeling pretty tired. So uh, you can leave the comments below who looks most tired. I'm fresh. Marlo's fresh. I've got a bit of flu. Not too much, but a little bit. My end of the walkway. What? <laughs> 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 Didn't roll. <laughs> so that's sit for the next few hours, try not to fall asleep, and get onto our aircraft. And sit another 12 hours. Sit another 12 hours and make it back home. Tomorrow we sleep in our own bed. This time of the trip home sounds marvelous. Agreed. Fully. Gate area where we're gonna be boarding soon. And the gate goes all the way down to the end there. See just how many people there actually are. You just get a glimpse of our plane over there. Well, it's now almost five to one. We're still standing by the gate. No sign of boarding yet. And we're on our way to the plane. Among the first to go out, so it should be easy to report all the way into the aircraft. Good evening. Good evening. There we go. Right down to the end. Just following Mara, who's motoring it all the way down through the cabin. She comes there. Sorry, Cap. Good evening. And there she goes. All the way down to the down to the end. Nice cabin we have here. And a bamboo seat. Comfortable? Found the seat. Found the seat. Looking good. Passport away. Almost the same as the seat I had before. And I'll just put the bag up. And we can be here. 
nice and blue screens we have over here. These are going to be our seats. There's two single seats at the back of the plane. We always take these. A good footwear, but I can see that there's minimal leg room on this plane again. There's more leg room on the other 777. Once you come to the aircraft on each seat, there's a blanket and a pillow. I'll just put the armrest up. Let me take a seat. <laughs> so we were lucky to make it on board very quickly. Uh, aircraft still relatively empty. But of course, we wanted to fill up quickly so we can be on our way. I reckon uh, I take off. I'll probably watch a movie. While I'm watching it, I'll probably pass out. I tried to start one, but I don't promise that I will finish anything. Last time we flew this route, I slept from Bangkok to past Afghanistan. So yeah. hopefully I'll do the same on this one. There's not much to film out of the window. It's going to be dark out there. If you can see that now. So I'll basically start doing some filming in the morning and it gets a little bit lighter. Are we organized here? Yeah? I'm taking my slippers out from my bag here. They are actually still from Korea here. But they are very practical and you want to use lavatories. So it's very organized. Except that I forgot a pair of socks. Yeah, and I forgot my jersey. But at least I can get a blanket yeah. in that case. There goes one. I think it's a jet here, yeah. might be mistaken. As usual, I can see the cargo is still being uploaded. Uploaded, loaded. I was just giving me my own Why you other ones? headphones. So because I bought a cheaper phone than you. This isn't any advertising or putting down. I'm, uh, I enjoy my Samsung telephone products, but I bought the Samsung J5 because I thought that the telephone would be more than the camera was very good, but I'm not particularly impressed with the camera and the photos it takes. All safety with you. Two A three eighty straight ahead. Chemical safety check and adjust station. Let's for the mission. You see, the safety your reading light. Thank you. Korean air out there. And the A350 over there. There we have today's route from Bangkok to Copenhagen.
served. So should I start the show? Start the show. It's a nice looking salad there. Eh? Bring it in a little bit closer to me. What do you see there? I quite frankly don't know. Looks like a cheese and egg. Maybe some papaya. Butter. Bun to go with it. And then we got the spicy main dish. Yes, water. I see, there's a fried egg in there. Oh, this is the... This is not chicken. It looks more like that uh, Thai dish. Yeah. The there's pig's meat. Beef meat under the fried egg. Looking very nice. Yeah. And then behind that, Maro has a dessert which we're going to have a look at. It almost looks like a... What does it look like? <laughs> yeah, maybe tiramisu. We've got some cutlery. Nice. If we can just have a look at that. Oh, the real cutlery. Maple okay, cutlery. so it's maple cutlery. So we have the refreshing towel there. We've got the main meal over here. Now we've got a toothpick. And if we move over to my tray, Maro will just be so kind to pull the my hot dish so we can see it was supposed to be spicy. See what that is. It's the same as mine. It's exactly the same as Maro has. So, so let's dig in. So I guess I didn't get my chicken then. No. Doesn't matter. Oh. This is spicy beef. The starter was okay. Not my best, I can't say. And now they're walking around. They're bringing some more drinks. We just got drinks also. I had another ginger ale. Mara took an apple juice. We don't really feel like boo boozing at this time of the evening. There's the drinks cart over there. Well, that was a very nice meal. As you can see, I would normally finish my meal, have left all the rice. I left the bun and the butter and the cake. And a lot of the start, it's not because it wasn't good, it's because we just ate on the previous flight. And we had Burger King in the airport. What did you think of the meal? It was very nice. Very good, huh? I finished my salad again. Mano finished the salad. Also ate a piece of the cake, which was a little kind of banana cake. Very nice. Fresh bananas in it, huh? Yeah, and mousse. And mousse. Oh, they're fetching the plates real. now. I there we go. The they're taking the plates now, so you can give them away. Oh, that's lovely. It's nothing better than getting rid of the plates quickly. Hello there and welcome to another trip report laboratory tour. As you can see by my face, I've just woken up. I've been sleeping all the way from Bangkok and we're now somewhere over in Turkey. So it's quite a sleep I've had. My eyes must be totally red. But let's get this tour going. I'm in one of the laboratories at the very rear of the aircraft, uh, Boeing 777. Here we have the basin. Some soap, tie away soap. Outer toilet wrapped in a nice uh, uh, towel or there were in flower designs when we came into the aircraft. We have some tissue paper, a handle to hold on to if there's some turbulence, a mirror, there's me again, hello, hello to you all, all as well. And we have a coat hanger and the lock which of course closed, uh, when you close it the light goes on automatically, no smoking in the lavatory allowed. Even though there is an ashtray down here, there's the actual lavatory. As you can see, and just to the right of that, there are uh, hygienic papers to put over the seat. So you don't have to sit on dirty seats. That's the flushing button. And if you have any problems, there's a stewardess button down here. Or as they call it nowadays, a cabin crew uh, button. And just to the left of that, we have a dirt bin. It looks like two rolls of toilet paper. And there's even a little cup here. If one wanted water, I wouldn't recommend drinking water on the aircraft. 
space wise not very much down there it's a very small toilet so I'm gonna end this tour now and go and stand outside and stretch my legs a little bit see you when we get back to the seat I believe we're somewhere over Turkey at the moment see how dark the cabin is even though it's very light outside it's not allowed to open the blinds yet so it'll wake people up let's just have a look at the cabin in night mode there we go we're now in night mode these are the back seats here our seats are just in front those are our seats there there's two so the cabin here Mara and I are standing here at the back of the aircraft stretching our legs at the moment. There we have Maro. This is Maro in night mode. There's a toilet there. There's a galley over there. And over here at the back of the aircraft there's another toilet. And here you have the, the door. Here we have the galley at the back of the aircraft. There's juice and apple juice and water you can just take. There should be some sandwiches. There's also some sandwiches you can take. Down here in the galley, there's also sandwiches available. Some chocolates I can see and some waters also that you can just take throughout the flight. Looking really delicious. We have the coffee machine. And the cupboards. Enjoyable flight. Enjoy it tie ways. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And there's also juice. Lovely. Day. Lovely. Thank you very much. I took one of these egg sandwiches, egg and ham. Omaro's standing over there in the dark, stretching her legs, eating some of the cookies. Peanut butter roll. Very nice. Peanut butter what? Oh. I'm going to take this one now. So let's see where we are. There's 3 hours and 30 minutes left of our flight time. Local time and our destination is 2 minutes to 4 in the morning. Let's press the interactive chart. So we we'll see a better map. I always use the auto zoom. And there we go. Let's see where we are. We are somewhere, I believe, over, uh, I think that's Turkey, just past the Caspian Sea. Maro, she's busy looking at a, at a movie, I'm trying to start a movie, that's Beauty and the Beast. I don't have the energy for movies now. I can't even see her. Here comes a quick and short tour of the in flight entertainment system. As you can see down below, you can choose what language you want to control it in. I'm going to use the hand controller to control the screen. It's a touch screen, it's not very sensitive. So let's take the tour.
Thailand information. Well, that's basically that in flight entertainment system, which is really good. Let's do a little bit of night mode here until we can open the windows and point the camera outward. Not the best footage today because we it's a night flight and we closed the window so quickly. That's what we normally do, but I hope to get some more footage when we're allowed to open the window. The sun is burning on the windows. I can almost feel the warmth on them. If there's one thing I hate, that's sitting in darkness when I know that there's plenty of light and lots to look at outside with the light peeping through the blind there. Let's see where we are now. Like somewhere over the Russian Federation. And still we're sitting in darkness. Hello there and welcome to this bonus material. One more laboratory view. I'm at the very back of the aircraft now, the very, very back laboratory. As you can see, it's a lot longer than the other laboratories. I can do a very quick tour of this. Now, because there are people in the queue outside, but here we have a baby changing table, which doubles as a mirror on the side also. We've got the toilet down here. There's some facial tissues to use, maybe while you're wiping the baby also. You've got a toilet seat covers. There's the flushing mechanism for the toilet. We've got two toilet rolls. It's supposed to be toilet tissues, but I think it's empty now. Some outer toilet. Tivana, as far as I can see, by Rita Jasmine. And we've got some Thai foam hand soap. Basin. Dirt bin. Over here, cabin crew calling button. Yours truly, me. Hello to you all. Hope you're all doing well out there. Up on the door, we got the coat hanger. And the locking mechanism, once you lock it, it turns the light on. No smoking in the lavatory allowed, as I said before, even though there is an ashtray. But there's a little bit more space in this rear view toilet area. So that was that bonus visit. See you at the seat. Breakfast is about to be served. We just received our hot cloths. The secret is to use them as quickly as possible because they get very cold very quickly. A good idea is to wipe your face first before you wipe your hands. That way you don't get any dirty germs on your face. Hot serviettes are being given out to everybody. Some special meal breakfasts are being served already. We're just waiting for our breakfast. Maro's about to complete her movie, Beauty and the Beast. And I still have my window closed. I'd love to see something. Still somewhere over Russia. Judas is collecting the face cloths. They used face cloths. Let's try again while we're waiting for the breakfast. We can have a quick look at the onboard safety guard for the Boeing 777-300E on a Thai Airways aircraft. Let's going to skim through it very quickly here. I don't see much difference from other aircraft types. Safety rules are pretty much similar procedures. There we have it, the safety car on board card. Let's also have a quick look at the complimentary headset provided by the airline for the in-flight entertainment system. There you have the headset, as you can see it's pretty standard. It's a double socket plug, which plugs into the chair next to you here. Mara and I, we prefer to use our own mobile phone headset, and it works just as well. These sockets, you just use the one socket, obviously. But if you've forgotten them, or you don't know where they are, or for whatever reason, then these will do also. You must put these sponge things onto the headset yourself. That's what that looks like. Let's have a quick look out the window before we continue with the magazine. Also a quick look inside the cabin. So here we have Sawadi, Thai Airways' official in-flight magazine. Let's skim through it very quickly just to see what there is in it. As I always say, they're always very good articles and, uh, and images to accompany them 
magazines with fleet information and onboard entertainment information, various things like that in these magazines. There you go, Sour D magazine. Next up, it's time for some duty-free shopping. There are actually two duty-free shopping magazines. I think the one one is the normal one, and the other one's for a little bit more upmarket items. This is the normal duty-free magazine for Thai Airways, which they call Traveler. I'm just going to skim that magazine also. You can see the water coupons at the back. You can see jewelry. Little jewelry already. Fashions. Watches. And some jewelry very targeted towards the female passengers these products that was the traveler duty magazine for onboard shopping and now we get to the little bit of upmarket in my opinion duty free magazine it's also tieways it's called O Top Prestige we're just gonna skip through that or two have a look at those products what one can see sure that it is very much more upmarket products. This one gets its own magazine. And of course the name Hotop Prestige says it all. So before I move on to the last item in the little bag in the chair in front of us, have a look around the cabin. We can go out the window. Guess what I've missed? Let's see. Oh yes, the bath bag. You can't do a trip report without showing the bath bag or the air sickness bag, as it's officially known. Air sickness bag. As I always tell, you know I'm going to say it. Maro did get the use for the air sickness bag. Here comes the crew with the breakfast. Right now we're just being served breakfast, so I'll end the the video footage here. I just received my breakfast first. Mato hasn't got hers yet. So it's smelling really good. So, there we go. That croissant smells awesome. Mato's got a little hole in her foil <laughs> to let out that heat. Sauce is peeking out. Let's see we got some croissant fruit salad. Strawberry marmalade, butter, yogurt, orange juice. We'll have a closer look at that in a moment. So, Mato's going to give us a mini tour. First up, we have the orchid butter, some strawberry marmalade. It's to go with the croissant, I would imagine. Next up, the fruit salad. Looking juicy and fresh for the morning. The yogurt? What flavor is it? I think that's just not raw. It's just plain. Yeah. Right? Juice. Then we have an orange juice. Can I see the label? And can I see it from the side? Okay, you can't really see the orange juice in there. What's up next? Next we have this one here. There we have the breakfast. I'll move in for that. Zoom in a bit. Looks like an omelette. A pork sausage. And like a potato, is it? Potato gritty, some tomatoes. That looks eatable. A nice cup, solid plastic cup. Yeah. And once again, it does look like we'll be getting met metal cutlery. Yeah. Yes. Before I start eating my meal, let's have one quick look out the window. And tea and coffee is on the way also. Definitely need a coffee. I'll just have a closer look at my meal. The coffee suddenly comes, I better remove that butter. Oh, the butter is totally frozen. And strawberry marmalade from the cup. Yeah, we'll warm it up. Good call. We're going to put our butter under the hot breakfast. That should defrost it a bit. Okay, coffee please. Uh, black coffee, please. Yes. Comes our coffee. Mato's going to take care of that. Thank you very much, Katkungap. And we both have a nice... 
nice morning coffee. I think my breakfast has definitely been in cold storage. This yogurt is more ice cream than yogurt, so I got a frozen yogurt for breakfast. I don't know if you can see that on the camera how hard this is. I'll just let it melt a bit. I have a little taste and it tastes good. Very sweet. I gotta put my strawberry marmalade in like Maro did. Here we are drying our breakfast. My mouth is nice cold with my fruit salad was also frozen. My mouth is big. Still waiting for my yogurt to defrost. It's really been kept in a cold area. But the meal is hot, so that's good. Quite a nice view for breakfast out there. It's quite cloudy conditions over Europe. Oh, we finished eating now. We're gonna need to pack the tray afterwards. I ate and drank everything except the orange juice. Mato, pretty much the same. Except she left the omelette over there. Was it good? Thumbs up from me also. Very good breakfast. The clouds just got a lot more compact. Now that the lights are on, I can show you the so-called coat hanger. Pull out, hang your jacket. USB charging device is over there. Here's the controller for the infrared entertainment system. You simply press the button to release it. And the wire is on a spring mechanism, so you just pull in and out. This uh, control you can control, it's a touch screen, but you can also control it with a controller. can apparently also be used as a telephone. That's the area you would swipe your credit card to pay for the call. And here at the back there's a keyboard so you can type also for the chat feature that we saw on the infant entertainment system and this is also for the games. It's a games controller. To pack it away you simply pull the wire and wind it up and it goes back easily in position it's away. It's being offered some more tea and coffee. Get it. Here they come to clear the breakfast away. Didn't take too long. Nice to see. So that we can get up again and go to the lavatory if we have to. It's a very nice service that it comes so quickly. In many airlines you can sit here for many minutes waiting for them to pick up the, the trays again, which makes you pretty stuck on the chair. Breakfast has been cleared away now, so I think this might be the time. We're getting quite close to Copenhagen, but we're going to approach soon. to finish her movie off before we land. Kevin remembers walking around with a duty free. The last duty free sales. 616 kilometers to Copenhagen. We're heading for Kaliningrad. 36,000 feet or 10,972 meters. We're flying at 746 kilometers now. Ah, it's still 57 minutes to go until we get to Copenhagen. All the time there is 6:19 in the morning. On there, I can see a long strip of land, coastline. Okay, we're flying over Kaliningrad, so that's the coastline we can see now. It's like a beach with sea on both sides of it. Stretches very far. Ah, oh, yeah, there's land there. He's talking about the Kaliningrad again, that land mass Ma Maro found it on the map. You can actually see it there. Like a little strip coming out, and that went away. So, what Maro's 
screen. You can clearly see it there on the map. The strip of land going out into the sea. There it is down there again. We're now over the sea. Just over 50 minutes to go before we reach Copenhagen. Captain Crew is just telling that the last duty free sales are about to take place. Above every seat there's a personal reading light, which you can see there. What I've noticed with the new Boeing 777s is there's no longer a personal fan that you can adjust above your head. We have Gdansk on our left, we're going to pass it by. Time for a quick nap. Power nap. Ah, it's not nap, it's just mining there. We now have 39 minutes to go. Our ground speed is 722 kilometers an hour. We're flying at 36,000 feet. Temperature outside is minus 47 degrees centigrade. Distance to Copenhagen, 355 kilometers. I just realized I forgot to mention the legroom. It feels like the legroom is less than we've had on previous flights on Thai Airways. My knees are touching the seat, which is the way I... My knees are touching the seat in front of me, which is the way I measure the comfort of the seats. So it's a little bit squashed, and when I had the seat down in front of me, or the person with the seat down in front of me, it was very squashed. They reclined quite far back. Maro, as always, has good leg room down there. She's got the little foot rest, which she's happy for. It's good for the short legs, so she can sit comfortably also. Thai Airways is still okay. So right now you can't see it, it's so cloudy out there. Plus I'm on the right hand side of the plane, but if we were sitting on the left hand side, we may be able to see the Polish coast which we're flying next to at the moment. There's a calmness in the cabin. People are relaxed as we approach our destination, Copenhagen. It's now exactly 30 minutes, half an hour to go before we arrive. We're going to be passing the Danish island of Bonholm. Sitting on the left side of the plane will get a good view of it. We won't be able to see it. as we get closer to Denmark. Still approaching. Here come the clouds.
Maros just announced that cloud surfing is beginning soon. She's in it with the jargon. And good surfing it's going to be. Just bounce on them. Huh? Many layers, yes. We'll probably get bouncy soon when we go through them. Still flying in over Sweden. Quite a big town down there, in front of that lake. As we approach Copenhagen, I'm not joking, it literally just gets darker and darker. It's a really good view of Malmö down there. Straight out there on the end, where the clouds are. I think over here, you can see the twisted torso. Which is a landmark in Malmö. There it is over there. I think we're coming. Yeah. Not any turns. Not many turns. No, we should be lined up completely with Kastrup Airport, Copenhagen Airport. There's a lovely view of Malmo. There, down there is the Osman Bridge. We're going a little turn in towards it. Back in, right? Nice. Really nice. I think we'll make a sharp lift again after this turn. Stunning view. It is early in the morning, just before seven. So that's the sun has just risen. Well, it actually rose many hours ago here in Scandinavia. Look at that view of the torso. Never had such a good one before. Twisted torso, that's Malmo Harbour down there. Now banking sharply to the left again. And again banking left. Yeah, that should be vain. Maro correctly said, the island directly out there on the horizon is Vein, a Swedish island in the Ørsund Sea. There on the horizon you can see the Danish coastline. And the name of that little island you can see down there, or right below in the description, or in the comments with this video. But there we have the Windmill Park. We are on final approach now into Kerstrup Airport, Copenhagen Airport. Beautiful morning here. Yeah? Even though it's not exactly warm, it's 14 degrees. A little bit bumpy, huh? See the Pillar Sky Hotel. It's the Danish Aquarium. And the fishing boat out there. Danish air transport taking off there. 
to us. Or DAT as it's now. It's in Singapore Airlines is right out there by the airport. Ladies and gentlemen, we have now landed at Copenhagen Castro Airport. For your safety, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened. Please check your personal belongings and travel documents before leaving the aircraft. There's one Airbus A330 landing. Sorry, that was an Airbus A340. Hello, hello. ATR 72 sitting there. Says Airbus. Actually, nobody next to us. We're the last gate, I believe. Now there's one more gate over there on the side. I reckon we are almost here now. A couple more centimeters in. And the brakes are on. Engine should be going off now. Engines off. So welcome to Copenhagen. Awesome three weeks in Kuala Lumpur, but it's nice to be home again. Awesome. Thanks for joining us on this flight. We hope you enjoyed watching it. In a moment you'll watch us walking through the airport and we'll end it off after that when we get our baggage. So join us for the walk now. We're also at the same time going to be making an airport arrival at Copenhagen. So if we're talking about arrivals, it's for that video we're making also. We're making two videos here and now. So see you on the walk. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. So now we are arriving in the non Schengen countries part of the airport. Thank you very much. And we're going to show you the road. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Same to you. So we'll go through immigration as I mentioned before. And then we'll go down to our baggage. And after that, we'll get through the customs area. And just following Mara through the economy class cabin here. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Also economy class cabin. We sat on these seats here and then we flew out to Bangkok. They were very good also. I'll pass it through another economy class cabin. Here comes the business class. It's always looking good and mighty. Our seats. Very comfortable looking. Would be nice. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye bye. And we're back. It's not that cold. No, it's not. It's fine. Nice temperature. We're expecting the cold weather, but it's actually quite pleasant. The weather, and then we have our aircraft. Review before I continue. And there we go. And I'm just keeping up with Mano, she's going to lead the way and show you this route 